Thank you, Father God. Page 199. We are true peace for Abraham's precious family in my personal life and in my business life. Thank you for protecting all the people that are in wars all over the world and floods and volcanoes and famines and pestilence and cancers and rumors of war and division in families and what else is going on? Fires and hurricanes, tsunamis, lightning bolts, um, family problems and negative people all over the place and no hope and suicide, suicidal thoughts. Lord God, I think I'll bring everything that you warned us about before they even took place. You said we must take heart and trust you. Because you overcame all of it and we can overcome it with you in us. So we just thank you for teaching us, leading us and guiding us by your Holy Spirit, precious Heavenly Father, in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. So page 100, we're going to talk about God says that he sets before us life and death, blessings and curses. And he says, please choose life and blessings so that you and your descendants descendants may live. Satan, Iblis, the devil, comes only to kill, destroy and steal. But Jesus said, I have come that you may have life and life in abundance. I have come that your joy may be full. So now we must comfort God's people and tell them their sins have been paid for double by sinless Messiah, Moshiach, Jesus. And that's in Isaiah 40. Rabbi Shmuley said, read the New Testament and learn from the real Jesus. We must call Hashem my Lord and develop an intimate relationship with the Lord like true Christians do and like Abraham did. And Glenn adds, like true Pakka Muslims do from the Brit Chadashah. The Quran says to obey and follow and learn from sinless Messiah Jesus and be ready for Jesus' second coming. Surah 43, 61 to 63, Surah 57, 27, Surah 19, verse 19. And then learn from the Torah, Torah, the Injil, the good news, old and new covenant, or else I am nothing and can do nothing. Surah 5, verse 68. Muhammad is only a plain warner, just like other messengers that came before him and does not know what will be done with himself heaven or hell or with us. Surah 46 verse 8 to 9. The Quran says, Fear God and obey Jesus. Surah 43 verse 61 to 63. Surah 3 verse 50. Muhammad committed his life into Jesus' hands. Shia Bakari, volume 3, book 34, number 425, and book 43, number 668, book of prophets, page 490, volume 4, book 55, Number 657 in the New Covenant, the Brit Chadasha. Vicky Klavansky says, Jesus was the best Jew ever to live, and we must all follow him and bring salvation to the whole world. That's the New Covenant. Albert Einstein says, We must follow the luminous figure of the Nazarene Jesus. Every word of his pulsates, pulsates in such holiness and love. The New Covenant. Proverbs 8.22, Micah 5.2, Isaiah 9, verse 1 to 6, Daniel 9, verse 24 to 27, and Daniel 7.13. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to God the Father except through the Son, Moshiach, Jesus. I am the door, I am the resurrection. I am the living water, I am the bread of life. I am the light of the world. I am the Son of God and the Son of Man. 1 Peter 4. God allows our trials and sufferings so that through trusting Jesus, Yeshua, we come out jumping for joy, exceedingly glad, brotherly love and kindness, content in every situation, giving thanks in everything, praying about everything, rejoicing in everything. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus our Lord and Saviour. So the genealogy of Jesus is so wonderful because God uses twisted and turned people 
sinful people who repent and get forgiven by God. That's why we all need sinless Jesus, not born by a man's sperm, but by the power of the Holy Spirit. King Jochaniah, Rahab, Ruth the Moabite, King Manasseh, Rahab, Bathsheba, Uriah's wife that David murdered after adultery, King David, Solomon, Tamara, etc., etc. We all need Jesus. We all have sinned and we all need atonement for our soul. Genesis 3.15, Jesus is the seed of the woman to crush Satan's head and bring salvation to all of us that would be humble and receive God's free gift, Messiah Jesus, meaning salvation. Romans 1.3, Matthew 22.41, the son of David, the son of man, the son of God. John the Baptist, Yahya, said that he was not worthy to tie Jesus' sandal straps, page 201. John 1, verse 1 to 14, the word was made flesh. Um, the Quran, Surah 24, 31 and 39, 27, God speaks in parables so that only if my heart is true to know and love God will I understand. Otherwise, I won't be able to understand the parable. Surah 64, verse 14, Micah 7, 5, I have enemies in my own household. I prayerfully ask God to save me and them. Luke 51 verse 11. It's time to now repent because I know now, miraculously believe in God calling me. Revelation 3 15 to 22. I'm listening to God. He is knocking gently on the door of my heart like the prodigal, backslidden son and daughter that has been running away from God, from my parents, from my family, in independent mess. I now open the door of my heart and with serious desperation I ask Messiah Yeshua Jesus to come into my heart and forgive me, cleanse me, circumcise the foreskin of my heart and give me atonement, forgiveness of all my backsliding and fill me with your Holy Spirit, your Ruach HaKodesh. Let's pray this prayer. Dear God, Please come help me fix the mess in my family. Dear God, please come help me fix the mess in my workplace. Dear God, please come help me fix the mess in my street. Dear God, please come help me fix the mess in my next door neighbors. Thank you for breaking the generational curses in my family. Dear God, please come help me fix the mess in my suburb. Dear God, please come help me fix the mess in my country. Dear God, please... Come forgive me my sinful, rebellious, stubborn nature and refresh me, reconcile me back with you and my family. Dear God, please cleanse me with the blood of Messiah Jesus and give me assurance of eternal life. Take away all the curses, brokenness and torment in my life. Page 202. Dear God, please can you heal me from all my headaches? back pain, cancer, and all other sickness and disease. Dear God Almighty, thank you for revealing your real Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus, Isa, Jesu to me, so that I don't have to be blind following the blind. Help me to read your Bible and believe in all and restore the years that the locusts have stolen from my life, one precious day at a time. Surah 355. And God caused Jesus to die and then raised him from the dead alive to clear the guilty until the day of judgment. The day sinless Jesus was born from Virgin Mary, the day Jesus shall die for our sins, the day Jesus was raised up alive to clear me, the guilty. Surah 19 verse 19 to 33 and Surah 4 verse 157 says, The Jews never killed Jesus, it was the Romans. But God killed Jesus and raised him up after three days. It pleased God to kill Jesus, to heal our lower devilish nature in exchange for the higher spirit-filled nature. Surah 5, verse 48, Surah 7, 26, Surah 2, 138, Surah 5, 68, Surah 41, verse 34 to 35, John 3, 3, Matthew 18, 3, Romans 
10 verse 9, Joel 2 verse 29. And there we see Jesus on the cross. He pleased God to kill Jesus, that we could receive a new nature, no more carnal nature. Isaiah 52 verse 10, The Lord has made bare his holy arm in the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. Behold, my servant shall deal prudently. He shall be exalted and extolled and be very high, just as many were astonished at you. So his visage was marred more than any other man, and his form more than the sons of men. So shall he sprinkle many nations. Page 203, I'm reading from Isaiah 53. Kings shall shut their mouths at him. For what they had not been told them, they shall see. And what they had not heard they shall consider. Who has believed our report? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of dry ground. He has no form nor comeliness. And when we see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we did not esteem him. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. All we, like sheep, have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed, and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before its shearers is silent, so he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment, and whom will declare his generation? For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgressions of my people he was stricken, and they made his grave with the wicked, but with the rich at his death, because he had done no violence, nor was there any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. It pleased the Lord to bruise him. It pleased the Lord to bruise him. He has put him to grief. When you make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see the travail of his soul and be satisfied. By his knowledge, my righteous servant shall justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore I will divide him a portion with the great, and shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressions. We know the Moshiach Messiah Shua Isa Jesu, Jesus, in our heart. We share our bread with the hungry, clothe the naked, break every yoke, loose the bonds of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free, bring the poor and the outcasts in, visit the widows and orphans in their distress, and keep ourselves spotless from this world. Love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as you love yourself. Do unto others as you would have others do unto you. Wow. So there's a chart that we're going to put up again. It's the 70 weeks of Daniel, chapter 9, verse 24 to 27, which goes with this long scripture in Isaiah 52 that I've just read. We know that when the Jews came back from exile after 70 years of being stubborn and rebellious, God did a miracle. So next time we're going to go to page 205 and we're going to discuss over 300 prophecies in the New Testament that talk about Jesus, Yeshua, Moshiach, Messiah. So Daniel chapter 9 verse 24 to 27 is the first coming of the biblical Moshiach 2,000 years ago. And Daniel chapter 7 verse 9 to 14 is the second coming of of the same Moshiach, Messiah, Jesus. And let's trust, Father God, that you'll reveal this to all of us by the power of your Holy Spirit. Draw us with your love and save us all and our families in the wonderful name of Jesus. 
Amen.